It, the game has ended here at Turner's Cross and it has, uh, it has finished obviously 1-0 to Bohemians. Uh, an even game overall, uh, Cork City pressed from time to time. Bowes were, were the dominant team throughout the game and you know they got a goal early on. It was uh, Andre Wright scored a goal. It was a great shot from distance and Mark McNulty parried it but unfortunately for Cork <laughs> Andre Wright was there on hand and he finished it off the post. McNulty was unlucky not to get another save on it but th that was the way it went and uh, after that there wasn't many more clear cut chances after that um, if City had held out in the early stages and had steadied the ship they might have held on for a draw anyone knows but uh, overall it was even uh, Bows were pressing well there there was a there was a booking after uh, after about half an hour there Joe Oliver uh, he made a heavy touch as he was coming out of the fence and he just kind of lunged to retrieve the ball and he got a booking many were calling for a red card and in hindsight maybe maybe he was lucky to escape with the yellow card but he stayed on the field anyway and he was very steady at the back today himself and Alan Bennett were very solid at centre half Ben O was heading a lot of ball away he was clearing a lot from the defence which was very positive to see for a man who didn't play much last season but has become very positive in the Cork City team a real leader and influence within the squad but overall D Shane Dowling was very impressive on the left wing for Cork City as well he was creating opportunities whenever he got the ball there were very there was attacking chances time and time again but unfortunately it didn't come to anything uh, Bowes seemed very relaxed throughout the game they were very positive you know, they never panicked at any time even when City were pressing and City were getting a bit of motivation just after half time Bowes stayed steady Dan Casey a former Cork City man was incredible at centre half for Bowes today he steadied the ship there was no there was no major chances for Cork until the, the end stages of the game it went Corey Galvin Corey rounded about three or four defenders and he had a shot on goal from the edge of the box but unfortunately it was straight into the keeper's hands and um, Dowling was probably the main threat for Cork City today overall. Darrow O'Connor came on for Dylan McGlade in the second half and he showed some promise going forward. He's Darrow is a very quick player and he turns very fast. He was able to turn the defence once or twice and uh, nothing came of that. But uh, Bowes were the deserved winners, uh, as I said, you know, they were pressing constantly throughout the game and they were moving the ball. They weathered the storm of Cork City's attack at the early stages of the second half. And uh, you know, they were they were deserved. Uh, Andre Wright w was very good today after his goal at the start he had a few shots a few dangerous shots which worried McNulty and Mark McNulty was, was relatively uh, solid today as well it, there was a few balls that came over the top and Mark had to, had to deal with them they were awkward they had, the ball came over the back line and Mark ended up playing kind of a sweeper role he was coming out and getting the ball he had to clear a lot of ball he had to come outside the box and he was kind of picking up the pieces behind the defence but it's good to see Mark back. Obviously, Liam Boston is here as well. I'm not sure if, uh, who will be playing the main part over the next few weeks. It'll be interesting to see. But, uh, you know, Mark McNutty, a man who he, he's been playing at Cork City for years and years, one of the fan favourites. It's good to see him back. And after last season, he had a couple of poor games last year. But it's great to see him back out here. I know it was a loss, but it's great for his confidence. He was confident on the ball today. He was cool. He was calm. But overall, it was a it was a good performance from Bowes. First game back, it was sloppy at the start, but they really got their got their game together, and it was unlucky for Cork City not to to get something out of it. But they go again. They play Tuesday night again in the Munster Senior Cup. But uh, League of Action, League of Ireland action, excuse me. We'll be back here again shortly, no doubt, and hopefully uh, for Cork City and for myself as a Cork City fan, they will be able to pick up the pieces and uh, mount a challenge for survival. That was uh, that was it from me, Jack McGuire here at Turner's Cross today for Irish Football Fan TV. Tune in, there was updates throughout on Instagram and Twitter. Check them out and we'll be here again at Turner's Cross for the next Cork City game. Thank you very much.